Hi, Monica Moyano here. I'm going to show you how to use the a few tool a few tools to use on the Krita Photo Editor. It's an open source software that I found for editing photos, and it's a great tool to use, especially if you're working with animation. Now. Um, First thing I'm going to do, there's a few things on here that are different than Photoshop, which is why I'm doing this um, quick tutorial because it took me about 20 minutes just to figure out how to crop the image. So I'm going to show you that first because it's different than Photoshop. File, open, so you find your picture just like you would in Photoshop. There's my picture, open it up. And here's the picture I want to edit. So I'm going to go to the crop tool just like I would in Photoshop. And there are the pull bars. So just kind of cropping it to make a more interesting composition. I chose this um, software because I thought this would be great for my painting class students would be able to um, redesign their composition quickly using using this photo editor and be able to see exactly what what um, it looks like cropped versus a viewfinder. So once I have this area that I want cropped, maybe I'll put a little more hair in there. There we go and maybe a little more this way. Then instead of right mouse clicking you double click like this. There it is. Now to rotate the image, you can go up here to image, rotate, and this is like photo, just like Photoshop. Rotate and rotate. Now I want this image, I want this image to be mirrored. So, and horizontally, there we go. Now, I noticed that I have a wrinkle in my face. Not really, but j it's just a natural fold. <laughs> well, it's probably a wrinkle, but I'm going to show you how to edit that kind of thing out or you can use the reverse technique and put wrinkles in. Say you wanted to create an image, you wanted to um, make it look like you are older or you want to create some kind of animation, animated character or caricature of a face, you can also add things. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm not sure what that spot is on my face, but I'm going to just take care of that right away. Zoom in really well. And then I choose over here this tool called the Color Matcher tool. I'm going to go right up close to this spot. And it's, I don't have acne, I'm not sure that spot is, but I color matched it. Now I'm going to my brush select tool right here. Brush select, and that's really big, so I'm going to shrink that tool way, way, way down because that's a very small spot, and you can see that this to brush is way too big. So actually I'm just going to go straight to brush select and shrink down the diameter and I can see what that looks like there. I want it spiky. I don't want it to be perfectly round and the density I do I want it to be somewhat opaque I mean somewhat translucent I'm sorry 
and I can change the shape to a circle or a square. I'm going to keep it in a circle. I can change it to soft, which I'm going to do. And now I'm ready to fix that blemish. Oops, a little smaller. And let's see if that worked. And there we go. Gone. I can also do the same thing for this fold or wrinkle. Increase that slightly. Choose a to match the skin tone of the face on the side of it, just right there. And I like to make sure that it's, um, I'm not doing something that is super opaque because you can get a really unnatural look in Photoshop. You can end up with a big white blob on the side of your face or something like that and so you want it to you can always keep layering but it's hard to um, as you can see that you can kind of see it but I can go back in and continue to add layers over that until it's completely smooth I could also do the same thing with um, in reverse so I can choose to select the color of my hair make my eyebrows darker choose to select another fold or wrinkle in my face and then um, add wrinkles to my face so also or I can choose to like add find the color of my lips say I want to have bigger lips instead of getting Juvederm I just use Photoshop or Krita uh, in this case. Oops, click there, click here. Want that to, oops, that's a little too big. And just kind of go along, outline my lips to enhance them. There we go. And I can, again, because I have it on a, it's not very opaque. Gonna look like I probably got stung in the mouth, but you can see my lips just increased in size. And I can continue doing that around the sides. But that is how to use the toolbar in Krita.